Welcome back to Defensive Back University, the section of Pick 6 Athletics that's specifically for defensive backs. Now, this is a second post, so make sure you're subscribed, follow along, because there's going to be a lot more to come. Everything you need to know about playing defensive back. Available in these YouTube videos, and then a blog on the website, pick6athletics.com. Now, if you ever feel like when you're covering a receiver one-on-one, if you're right with him, but at the very end on the deep balls, he still ends up catching it, then this one is going to be for you. Maybe it was a perfectly thrown ball, but maybe, and more likely, there's something that you can do about it. When you're running with the receiver and you know, you're right with him, it's a deeper ball, and it's time to look back, make sure you follow this rule or else you could be in danger. So when you look back for the ball, have your eyes go up and look up for the ball, and then if there's no ball there yet, then you could lower your eyes back down to normal eye level. So there's a couple reasons why this is important. But first of all, think about time. When you're running with a receiver on a deep ball, it's already been a couple seconds probably. And you know, most of the times, offense is designed to get the ball out quick. So it's likely that the ball's already in the air. So when you look up, you gotta expect the ball to be directly over your head. Because if you look just at normal eyesight, eye level, you're not gonna see it and it'll go right over to the receiver and he'll catch it. That's where you gotta look up. If you've ever seen a ball bounce right off of someone's helmet, then it's likely that they weren't able to look at the ball. Maybe they looked too low and it came right above them and bounced off. And that is not a good look. You don't want that to happen. Now more on locating the ball. Imagine you beat the receiver, you push him down or he falls, whatever, and it's just you running an open field. You're running the route for him. Now you gotta follow the same rules and look back, look up for the ball, and then bring your eyes down if it's not there. Imagine you flip your head back to look for the ball, but you keep your eyes low, and it ends up going right over your head. That is not a good look. Now, especially at night or in conditions where it's hard to see the ball, this will be especially important because, don't forget, the whole game is about the ball. Take it seriously. You have to find it, keep your eyes on it. Now, if you're wondering why you shouldn't look low, other than bring your eyes up, it all comes back to timing and placement. Remember, the ball is probably already gonna be in the air, so you have to be safe, because it might be right over your head. Other than for placement, especially if you're playing corner, most of the time the receiver will be on your outside. So that means from the inside where the quarterback is, the ball has to go right over you into the receiver, to the receiver so he can catch it. Which means that if you just look straight at the quarterback, you know the ball is gonna be having to go on that line to get the uh, receiver. So you might as well look exactly where it's gonna go, start from the receiver, take that course back, so at any point you see the ball, you know what course it has to take to get to him, then you can see the ball, pick it off, and make a play. If you do look low, then there's a chance where the ball, you could just miss it completely, it go right over your head, into his hands, or even worse, you could get mossed. You just gotta see the ball before it gets to the receiver, and then make a play on the ball. Either tip it, or catch it, pick it, get a pick six, be a pick six athlete. If you learned anything, make sure to like the video and then stay tuned for more posts from DBU and the rest of Pick 6 Athletics.